Narrator is Jerry McLaughlin. It's 10.47 a.m. and I'm writing a video script after a talk I just had with a friend I've known for 55 years. We'll call him Jimmy. Once again, I tried and failed to get him to say a simply prayer of salvation. I let him know it would take less than one minute, but he objected, saying, I'll pray when you can explain to me why God allows so much suffering in the world. Here's my answer to Jimmy. Because you, Jimmy, have been given free will, so have I, as have all others in this world. And when we treat others in such a way where they get less and we get more, then the world becomes as it is now. That's the selfishness of man, not the fault of God. In a better world, in a world to come, it will not be like this, and that world is forever. Today's sufferings are not even here for a blink of an eye compared to eternity. It's not even a in prick of pain compared to eternal bliss. God doesn't care so much about what our flesh goes through. He cares what our spirit learns from these experiences. Therefore, Jimmy, do what is right and risk the consequences. Do to others as you wish others to do unto you. In short, Jimmy, it's about the imperfect Jimmys of the world doing imperfect things to all the other Jimmys and Jamies of the world and not about what our perfect God is doing. But the real question is this, do you want to live in a world without pain and suffering of others? No backstabbing, no scheming, no selfishness, only love. Do you really want that? The answer is no, at least up until now. You have chosen this fallen world. You choose every day to partake of this world of suffering. You have not chosen to leave this currently realm of selfishness, to enter the realm of selflessness a world with nothing but love for all eternity. And that door is open anytime you choose to walk through it. But you must choose to leave the world of man's inhumanity to man. If are sincere in your desire to see an end to suffering on earth, pray to the God what created heaven and earth and get in agreement with him to be in a world without suffering. So choose today and say, Jesus, I am finally ready to accept you and your goodness. Come into my heart, I turn my life over to you. I believe you died on a cross for me to take away all my sins and the sins of this world. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. That's the end of this video. But Jimmy, I've known you 55 years and in gym class, no pun intended, Jim, when Coach Schultz has said, Berlin Key, to 20 push ups, you didn't want to do them. And as for leg lifts, you and I hated them even more. If there is anything that represents suffering on earth, it was leg lifts in gym class. So rather than see you do leg lifts for eternity in a world without God, here's the simple short prayer to say to know that you know that you know you will be in eternity with God in a world without the suffering you have blamed God for up until now. Jesus, I am finally ready to accept you and your goodness Come into my heart. I turn my life over to you. I believe you died on a cross for me to take away all my sins and the sins of this world. I receive you as my Lord and Savior.